Hey guys, got something in the mail. Something that I think is cool. Something pretty old actually. It's been out in England for many, many years. I got a pretty good deal. Um, brand new, these are like, uh, I think that's almost $20, but I got them for like $9 for each of them. And it comes with everything that normally would come with it. A better compartment, comes with a cable. And this is the main attraction, a micro bit. Um, apparently uh, kids in Britain gets this for free in their schools but I'm a little older than that <laughs> but I want to play with this because it has two things that I like about it it runs MicroPython which is my current favorite language and it has all kinds of sensors including an accelerometer and a, a compass so this little thing oh and on the other side it has a whole bunch of LED displays too two buttons so I think it'd be a lot of fun to play with Okay, I had some time to play with this now, and I could share something kind of cool. The environment's amazing. Everything could be done directly from a web browser. It draws a smiley face when it's level, and using the accelerometer, uh, it could draw a right arrow if it's tilted that way, and it could draw the other right arrow pointing that way, left arrow. And then if you go the other way around, uh, it draws different arrows too. And that just takes a few lines of code. But even cooler is, like, I bought two of them, and so this one I program such as it actually has a they communicate with each other with a radio and they actually send the information. So this one will just sit there until I send it a message. So now that same message that is in here is being sent over there. It's just and like like I said, the, the code to do this is amazingly simple. So this is a sender. It just uh, import the radio as I mentioned earlier. And I have a whole bunch of variables, and then this is an infinite loop that just looks at the accelerometer, accelerometer and says, hey, was it a left gesture, meaning it's still to the left. If it is, set these two variables, and then when it's different than the last time, I have a last message right here, I would just display that little thing, a happy face or whatever, and then send the message, which is a single string here, um, either a W or an S or whatever. You can actually send a whole string. Um, uh, but I'm only sending a single character. And then on the other side, it's even simpler because all we do is like we do the same radio thing in here. And I have a dictionary in here that says if you receive an H, then show this image. We just say, okay, if there's a message that we receive from the sender, look at the dictionary, turn that message, the H, into a happy, and then display the happy. <laughs> is that amazing or what? So now that same message that is in here is being sent over there. It's just, 